Hey y'all, it's Cousin Rosie, and in this video, we are making loaded Cajun fried cabbage. This is so easy and perfect for those busy weekdays, so let's get right to it. So I turned my heat up to medium high. Here at my chopping board, I have most of my ingredients minced and ready to go. We're gonna start off with the bacon ends. So the reason I use bacon ends is because it's the fattier piece of the bacon, and we want that fat, okay? So while we fry this bacon, it's going to render the fat and that fat is going to be used to fry up all the other ingredients for this recipe, okay? Now, if you can't find bacon ends, just use some fatty bacon that you may have on hand or that you can find at your local grocery store. Once it gets to about that color, we're going to remove it out of the pan. And now we're going to start adding in our andouille sausage. Now, sometimes andouille sausage can be a little too spicy for some people. If that is you, use your favorite smoked sausage, okay? So once it achieves this nice color here, we're going to remove it from that pan and set it to the side. And now I'm going to fry up our onions and peppers. Now if you want to know which blend I use, because I didn't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, I just used some frozen onions and peppers. There's a little bit of celery and parsley in there as well. I'll have the information on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. So now I'm going to start frying up some shrimp, okay? I'm using red Argentinian shrimp. It is a large shrimp. If you have a smaller shrimp that you want to use, you can do so. Now we added in some salted butter. We're going to sprinkle in some Rosemary Seafood Magic. You know I had to grab up all the bottles with my grandma's picture on it. The other bottles, like if you buy one, or should I say when you buy it from our website, you'll get the other, our new logo, okay? So now I removed all the shrimp. You see all that flavor at the bottom? We're going to actually fry the cabbage in there, okay? So I have green and red cabbage, and I'm going to fry it until it is nice and, like, crisp a little bit, but at the same time, it's going to be tender, okay? We don't want it soggy. Now I'm going to start adding in some crushed garlic. So one cube equals to be a teaspoon. Not a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a clove. Now we're going to add in some down by the bayou. So this is Rosemary's Cajun seasoning, y'all. This is going to blacken our cabbage, add some more color to it, but it's also going to give it a Cajun kick. So mix everything until it's well combined. You want all of that cabbage to have some of that down by the bayou seasoning. And now we're going to add in all of our onions, our shrimp, our bacon, all that flavor, add it in the pot. Now, don't forget, if you need some Rosemary seasonings, head over to rosemayseasonings.com. And now we are going to just make sure everything is well combined. I mean, this is really easy. Now we're going to just sprinkle in some seasoning salt, okay? So we had the seafood magic for the shrimp. We added in our Cajun seasoning down by the bayou. And now we're going to sprinkle in that seafood, not seafood, but our seasoning salt to make sure everything is like just married together, okay? But that's it, cornbread, and this is the perfect meal. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.